Joining me right now is Combate Global Bantamweight, Francisco Rivera. Francisco, how's life treating you right now? Going good. Uh, training camp's about to finish. Saturday will be my last day. Then I head out to Miami on Tuesday. So, you know, just a weight cut after that. All right, man. Let's get right into that eight-man, one-night tournament. Something very rare in MMA nowadays. You know, when you got the proposal, what was your reaction? Of course, you know, we were working on a deal first. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure, I, you know, I was, it was the contract was good, you know, before I said yes. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's eight-man, ten Eight man tournament, ten man. It doesn't matter who I fight, you know. As long as the contract signed, I'm good to go. All right, all right. That sounds good, man. And uh, you know, it's very unique rules too. You know, what I mean, like the quarterfinals is a single five minute round, semifinals three three minute rounds, and the finals are three three minute rounds. How are you training for this? You know, is there any special way to prepare yourself? I mean, that's the thing. You really, you know, it, it, I don't think it really matters. Um, I think you got to be prepared for anything. Um, for one, like that first round is five minutes, anything can happen. So you got to make sure you win that round because, you know, you can't, you don't have another two rounds to go. So put that pressure on this guy in that first round and then see who wins the next round and kind of just go by how, who, who's winning. And just for this camp, I kind of just train with different looks, uh, different training partners, you know, not just one set person. So I kind of mixed it up and uh, it worked out. So we'll see what happens. I'm, I'll, I'll be prepared for anything. Did you know from the start who would be in this tournament, or has it been a mystery the whole time? Yeah, it's, it's been a mystery until, like, the last week. Uh, this last week, I found out, you know, who I was fighting the first round, and then, obviously, the second round, you don't know. The third round, obviously, you don't know. But now I know who's on the tournament. I mean, it's all they're all gr a group of great fighters, so, you know, I'm prepared for any of them, no matter what. How does it feel to be the OG of the crew, though? You know what I mean? Like heading in, everybody yeah. knows who you are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 good. At least they know what 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 kind of fighter I am. What to look, you know? I, they know that I come to fight every fight, so I hope they're prepared. I hope you know we put on a great show for the fans, and everybody knows when I fight, I come to put on a show, no matter what, no matter who it is. I bet you these guys are gonna try to take me down and grapple because I know they ain't, they ain't gonna want to stand with me. So we'll see what happens. I think uh, a characteristic that's going to be important for this tournament will be having that dog in you, you know what I mean? And we know you have it, but I'm just wondering if the other guys have it in them. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I ain't afraid to fight. I've been in the UFC for many years and fought in, in front of hundreds of people. You know, that walkout is no different. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be the same. Whoever's in front of me, you know, I'm going to put on a show. And I hope these guys are ready to fight, you know. At the end of the day, we're all fighters. It's who wants it more, who's who's gonna you know go out swinging and who's gonna come out on top, and that's all I'm looking forward to. I don't care who's in front of me. I, you know, I got I got a family to feed. I'm just starting to get back into fighting again. So this is all I know. This is all I've known for the last 15 years, and you know, it's it's great to just be able to just fight again. That's all I care about. All right. Well, let's get into that too. You know, what I mean, like after 2016, when you're released by the UFC. You didn't fight for a long time until earlier this year, and it was a great return. You know, what did it feel like to be back in competition after so long? Just the feeling of being in training camp, you know, getting back into, you know, learning again and, and training and dieting and focusing and just having a goal again. It's my job, you know, so being able to fight again was just like a relief for me, you know. And uh, I had a great fight in January won by first round knockout it was just i didn't stop training for the last four years i've been in training camp i was helping henry cejudo i was helping tony ferguson i've always been active you know i've always been helping my training partners get ready for their fights you know full on doing everything as if i was getting ready for a fight you know but i just didn't have a contract but since ever since i got my last fight i've been in the gym training and getting ready for this this combat this tournament henry's coming back you can you give us any insight into that? Because there's some little know. hits nowadays. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't talk to him every day. I only talk to him like once in a while, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's his business. Whatever mm -hmm. he wants to do, he's, you know, he's a two-time division champ, mm -hmm. gold medalist, mm -hmm. has all kinds of money. <laughs> I, I wouldn't fight if I was him. I'd retire. Like, what's the point? You know, I mean, I know he has his legacy and stuff, but mm -hmm. he's done enough for the sport. He, he can enjoy his life. For sure, man. And, 
And speaking of uh, Tony Ferguson, you know, he he's lost his three. He's lost three in a row, I believe. But he says he's not done, man. And I believe him, man. And you know him. You've been in camp with him, man. He has that yeah, drive, no, huh? Yeah, he's he's a great dude. You know, he's he's a great fighter. He's one of the icons of the sport uh, going. Definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, it's up to him. Whatever he wants to do, he's he's that's all he knows. Also, he's a great fighter. He's not going to retire. I guarantee you that this guy loves to train and loves to fight. And I believe he'll make a comeback. You know, he, 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 he'll, he'll come back, believe it or not. All right. Now, let's get back to this tournament. You're facing Adam Martinez in the first round. What is your breakdown of him and his skill set? Um, he comes from a, tra- a great camp up in Denver. Um, I seen his last fight. I mean, it's it's. A great fight for me, you know. Um, I'm sure he knows who I am. I'm sure he's definitely not going to want to stand with me. He's probably going to try to shoot and take me down that first round. But I'm well prepared for anything. So if he wants to try to take me down, good luck trying. Uh, it's just going to tire him out, and I'm just going to look for the finish, you know. But I believe we're going to put on a great fight that first first round, and I'm looking to move forward onto the second round and the third round and winning that that tournament money and that belt. How do you expect to take out Martinez? You know, do you have to be more strategic or are you going to be able to just go in there and, and like get, you know, because your first fight when you returned in January, that was fast. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of go at my, my pace, you know, however, I kind of play off how he, he comes off, you know, um, I'm definitely going to try to put the pressure on him because, you know, it's only one round and uh, if he can handle the pressure, then we'll put on a great fight, but I'm looking for the knockout. I'm looking for the quick finish, you know, to get in and get out and save my energy for the next two rounds. Now, heading into this night, many people will point to your age, you know what I mean, and be critical about that, but you look in great shape, you know, you don't seem to be slowing down any. Where are you in your career right now? Yeah, I feel like, you know, I felt like I'm better than I was in the UFC. Um, The four years off, I took real real good care of my body. Uh, rested a lot, you know, took trained different, trained smarter, not harder. Um, I feel like I'm better. So, and it showed in my last fight. I was real calm, real, you know, real pushing the pace, but smart, not, you know, worried about anything else and not trying to brawl like I used to. So we'll see. I mean, I feel like my, uh, I'm good. I'm 39, but I don't feel 39. You know, I feel great. Uh, all my training partners tell me, you're 39. Wow, you feel, you train like you're 24 or 25. So that's that's good to know. But um, you know, I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on what I got to do in the fight and come out on top. What have been some of the main challenges for you preparing for for a night like this? You know, what I mean, in 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 training camp. Uh, I mean, nothing really. The good thing about this is that you don't know who you're fighting, so it's good to just train in all aspects. You know, which is good for me. So the main thing is just you know being strict on my diet getting down to the 135 mark. Uh, my last fight was on 140, so this will be the first time back to 135. Um, it's going to, it's been a great cut so far. Great, great. I, it's going to be an easy cut for me. Um, back when I was in the UFC, it was a lot different how we cut weight. Now things have evolved in the last five, six years from when I was in the UFC, making that weight cut so much easier now, so much, you know, easier for me. And it's so good to know that, it's going to be an easy cut for me. No doubt. You know, you got a lot of professionals nowadays, right, that know exactly what they're doing. They're, they got measurements. It's a science. It's a science now. Right. It's a science. It's yeah, exactly sure. a science. Back yeah. in the day, we would just go in the sauna for <laughs> two days straight and fry your brain. <laughs> yeah, that, you're right, man. It was just, yeah, you see some of the guys back in the day, man, they looked really bad. Nowadays, you don't really see it as much. Yeah, definitely not. It's definitely a different way now more healthier way, smarter way. We're not starving ourselves. We're not sitting in the sauna for hours. We're, you know, it's, it's easier way now to do it. And, and, you know, I'm happy that I get to fight and, and do it that way. That way I have more energy to perform. No doubt. Now on your side of the bracket, you have Manny Vasquez versus Nolan Hernandez. Who do you feel like will advance and meet you in the semifinals? Um, I don't know. You know, I feel they're pretty much even matched. Mm-hmm. Um, Whoever out of them two, you know, I don't even have the bracket, so that's the first time I heard it from you. Um, It doesn't matter, you know. I'm sure these guys are all going to try their best to move on to the next round, and I'll be prepared for who and whoever, whenever, at any time. So whoever it is, um, good luck to them, and I'll see them in the semifinals or finals or whatever. All right. Well, May 29th, man, Miami, you're back. 
with Combate. It's going to be awesome, man. One night tournament. You said that the money's there, the belt's there. You just got to go in there and perform, man. Thank you, Francisco, for the time. Sure, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Sure.